It looks more like a machine you'd see on an ice rink rather than a sandy beach. Along the Gulf Coast, crews are collecting sand using sifting machines dubbed Sandbonies. Engineers say they can clean 50 tons of sand an hour, although it's uncertain how long it would take to clean hundreds of miles of beaches. Environmentalists are also fretting about potential harm to the ecosystem, but the company operating the machine says they're safe. We're screening the sand, pulling up the tar balls, to any liquid oil that we find, and bringing it into a hopper so that we can place it in piles for the sand uh, wash. This sand cleaning machine that's being set up here I think is going to be very helpful. Uh, we have the beach cleaning equipment that's out there, but once they clean up the sand, they've got to process that so they can put it back on the beach. Just because a beach looks clean doesn't mean it is clean. Some of the oil might be well below the surface of the sand. BP is planning a deeper cleaning program that could include burning sand once the leak in the Gulf is stopped. My main concern is um, making sure that uh, this, this oil uh, you know, doesn't hit us direct impact. Is, I don't want to say it to go somewhere else, but nobody <laughs> wants it. But at least we've got some equipment now that we really convinced that that would keep the beach clean. Which could extend the sands of time a little longer in the race to clean up the oil. Haven Daily, The Associated Press.